our cash up, unveiling, intuition, insight, finding out about things that are unseen, and ilham, inspiration, Islam's sources of information. God reveals what He wants to say to people through revelation that He communicates to prophets. Other than that, there is no communication with people to pass any information or any dialogue. In Sufism, sadly, haq, verity, and batil, falsity, are intermingled. Sufism is an add-on system. It has taken from Islam some motives such as God, service, worship, morality, decency, avoiding the forbidden, prayer, praise, dhikr, exquisite acquittal and devotion. On the other hand, a system of Sufism was created by blending the unity of existence, wahdat al-shuhud, meaning apparentism or monotheism of witness, unity in conscience, reincarnation, khidr, an immortal person believed to come in time of need, esoteric signs, batan, ledun signs, divine knowledge, and many other foreign cultures with the motives they received from Islam. Unfortunately, Muslims began to market Sufism as if it were the pinnacle, the essence, the most perfect form of Islam. However, there are motives from Islam as well as other than Islam. Many of these motives take the person out of Tawheed. In my book of Sufism and Islam, I explained it in length. The kashf of no one, the ilham of no one, is hujjat, title deed, in religion. It does not express certain information. All scholars say this, except for the Sufis. Because the information that drips into my heart is subjective, we have no definite information that this is from God. It can be the devil's delusion and misgiving, or my own delusions. A religion based on dream, kashf, and ilham is unlikely. What comes to yourself is your own business. Therefore, kashf, dream, ilham are not hujjat, title deed, in religion. It is not Islamic knowledge that contains definitive evidence. And unfortunately, it originates from non-Islamic culture.